guys. So I was requested by someone to do a, or a tour of the tree nursery. So this up here is the highest point of the tree nursery. It's 64 acres in total. And there's a creek that runs right down there through the middle of it. I don't know if it's been in my videos or not, but there's a bridge right down there. You can probably see it glowing a little bit. And so basically all the trees down here have been planted within five years. And what you do is you would plant them. And if you think they're going to be a good hit or whatever within the next five years, by the time they mature and they are, then you sell them. And then what trees don't turn out, just dig them up and come put them in this brush pile right here or there's another one on down around the nursery. Right there's the brush pile. Maybe anyway, these trees are called something with a seed. I forget what they're called, but they're worth quite a bit of money. And so the people that actually are hired to come in here and work this nursery, they try to get 50 to 55 loads a year out of here. So that's pretty good. And they take them up north to like Pennsylvania and Rhode Island, places like that. And these trees right here on the right, well, I have no clue what those are. They're just a mixture of all kinds of stuff. And then these down here, I also don't know what they are, but they're very bright. You see these in like, lows and places like that these trees I forget what they're called I'm pretty sure Chinese maple or something Japanese that's what it is if you don't know it goes down the little forks like a triangle goes down around the roots of the trees and it closes together and just picks the tree and the root ball straight up it's called a spade right here's the creek i was talking about we tried to dam it up a little bit but the water's flowing over but it has been raining it has been raining pretty good And this one right here is deep enough to swim in. I actually did a flip into the water. I hit the bottom a little bit, but it was pretty soft, so it didn't really matter. That's what it looks like with the root ball and everything. And the little cage on the bottom, it's like a little basket. And you just set the tree down in it, and then you twist it with a little rod, and it tightens up around it.
right there is the brush, brush pile from looking down here up towards that way. So you can see how big it is. It's pretty big. Right there's some more hollies on the right. There's There's a ramp to load up like the skid steer you seen back there, tractor or whatever, just back up the trailer up to it and just drive straight on to it. It's a little bit controlled up like that, but it's also something back there. Right here's some more trees that we're never done anything with, just dug. These trees right here are about too big to really even dig and try to sell any, anymore. They got pretty big. They'd be probably too heavy to work with. pine trees down there oops, down there and up there on the hill those were all part of the nursery at one time and those trees just got really big and were never done anything with so that's what they look like now steaks we bought many ones because the big ones the tomatoes are kind of too close and they eat in each other's way so we got the little ones and this is the last one to do so i gotta pick it down try not to hurt anything make sure there's no leaves under the little rings if there doesn't need to be or if there's any close they can go over top of us they can grow up That was the last one. So, there's all 10 tomato plants with tomato steaks on them. All right guys, so I was down here the other day and I noticed that there's some ants in the garden making ant nests and stuff. That little fine spot right there in the garden, I don't know if the camera will pick it up or not, but it's right here. Cause as you can tell, the rest of it's pretty coarse and bigger clumps of dirt. So this right here is an ant nest. I don't know if there's any in it. Oh yeah, there's definitely some in there. Alright, so I got this stuff. I have absolutely no clue how to pronounce it, but supposedly it kills animals and it's safe for plants. So we're gonna see. Oh, okay, we got some in here because it's really windy. 
shake it all over the top of the little ant heel. I don't know how much to do. I'm gonna say that's probably a good amount right there, though. All right, hopefully that'll. Hopefully that'll do it, so I think it's getting ready to rain here in a minute anyway, and that might spread out a little bit. Alright guys, so I read that marigolds, they're like a little type of flower, I guess, keep insects and bugs off of tomatoes, so we didn't want anything messing up our tomatoes, so I went out and I bought 24 of them, so I'm going to plant them in these rows and see if they'll do anything or not. So my plan is, I'm just going to jab this in the ground. Again, nope, that's not gonna work. All right, guys. So I just got done planting the rest of these marigolds. I think I planted 12 of them. I still got 12 more, but that's all I'm gonna plant. The rest of them I'm gonna plant up at the planters at the house. And from about, it's right now. It's about 10:20 in the morning, and the sun comes up over in the east, and then it sets over in the west. And from about 11 o'clock to 3 o'clock, this is all just straight sunshine. But right now in the morning, which is the best time to have it shady, because you can be out working in it while it's not hot, it's shady. So that's what I like about the garden. We really didn't even pay a whole lot of attention to that whenever we were planting it, but it just so happens it's how it turned out. So I'm gonna get these watered everything else has already been watered and everything else is already coming up so after i get these watered i'm going to go plant the rest of those And also I figured I'd make another update on the garden. I think it's been, let's see, I think the last garden update I filmed on Saturday and today is Wednesday. So we went and got some cages for the tomatoes and the beans are coming up. That's what that whole row is, is beans. And this row, I think this is peppers. They haven't came up yet. They take a little bit longer. And this is all beans. So the beans are coming up good and fast also beans that whole row this rain we've been getting recently has really helped out and this is all corn it's getting pretty tall it's going quick there's another ant hill in here so the rest of this is corn there's another ant hill i need to take care of and actually the okra is starting to come up out there i think mostly it's down here on this lower side Right there. And right here, there's some coming up. So, yeah, the garden's doing pretty good. Shouldn't be too long, and everything will be getting up there and starting to produce a little bit. Or at least starting to grow the beans and the tomatoes, stuff like that. So, yeah, there's another update on the garden.
Sweet dusty haze, take me back 